In this problem, we're told that the terminal side of our angle theta is given by this equation here. And we're being asked to find the six trig function values of theta. So let's go ahead and work through this. So we need to start by finding a point on this line. So we can pick any value of x we like as long as it's positive. Um, it, it does say greater than or equal to zero here, but if you pick zero, you're just going to get zero for both and you won't be able to do the problem. So you want to pick one um, that's positive. I'm going to try to like pick something strategic. So I'm going to take this and I'm just going to play with it a little bit. So 3x plus 5y equals zero. I don't want to get fractions. So let's, let's try to um, solve this in a nice way. So we can subtract 3x from both sides. So we get 5y equals negative 3x. And if we divide by 5, uh, we would get y equals negative 3 fifths x. Well, it looks like we can't avoid getting fractions. So let's just, oh, I guess we can. Yes, we can. If we pick 5, uh, the 5 will cancel. So watch this. If I pick 5, strategy, boom. Then we get, look at that. That's called beautiful. So really interesting. So we solved it for y, and we, strategic, we str strategically picked a number that would eliminate the fraction. So because we have negative 3 over 5 times x, by picking 5, the 5s cancel. So now we have our ordered pair, which we can use to do this problem, which is 5, comma, negative 3. So this is our x, and this is our y. If you wanted to plot this point, you could. Uh, it would look something like this. Uh, you would go right 5, and then maybe down 3, and so it would be maybe here. And then this would be your angle that you're working with, theta. And this point here uh, would be 5, negative 3. Okay, so there is a formula that we can use to find r, which is the first thing we should always find in these problems. r is equal to the square root of x squared plus y squared. So that's equal to the square root of, so x is 5, so this will be 5 squared plus, and then y is negative 3, so negative 3 squared. So this is equal to the square root of 25 plus 9, so you just get the square root of 34, so not a really uh, nice number, but we will work with it. Okay, so now we can write the answers down. So let's start with the sine function. The sine of theta is given by the formula y over r. Remember, sine has the y. So in this case, y is negative 3. So this will just be uh, negative 3 over the square root of 34. And if you wanted to rationalize, you could. Uh, you would multiply by the square root of 34 over the square root of 34, basically multiplying by 1. So you would get negative 3 square root of 34 over, and then the square root of 34 times the square root of 34 is just 34. So that would be that answer there. Let's go ahead and jump to the reciprocal of sine, since we already have the sine function here. The reciprocal of sine is the one that starts with the other letter, so that would be cosecant of theta. So you basically have to take this fraction here and flip it. However, note that when we do that, we're going to get a square root on the bottom. So instead, let's flip this one, right? We, basically, this is just 1, so it doesn't matter. So let's flip this one instead, and that'll give us negative square root of 34 over 3. Good stuff. Now let's find cosine. So cosine of theta is given by the formula x over r. So x here is 5, and r is the square root of 34. As before, if we want to rationalize, we'll multiply by the square root of 34 over the square root of 34. So this is equal to 5 times the square root of 34, and then the square root of 34 times the square root of 34 is just 34. So we get that on the bottom. And now let's move to the reciprocal of cosine, which is secant. So secant theta, again, you just flip this fraction. But that would cause a problem if we wanted to rationalize because we would be forced to rationalize again. So instead, let's focus on this one. Flipping this one gives us the square root of 34 over the number 5. Almost done. Now we just got to do tangent. So the tangent of theta is equal to y over x. 
So let me go back because we lost it off the screen. So our ordered pair was 5, negative 3. That means x is 5 and y is negative 3. So y over x, that would simply be negative 3 over 5. That would be the tangent of theta. And the reciprocal of tangent is cotangent. So cotangent of theta. So you would just flip it. So you would get negative 5 over 3. That would be the final answer. I hope this video has been helpful.